Nick, do you want to go um, carve a jack-o'-lantern with me? Uh, you could buy me dinner first. Okay. I'm coming no, on a little uh, fresh there. Oh, no. I don't know. But uh, uh, you, what, whatever. What do you want? Here you you go. want? <laughs> no jack-o'-lanterns for recording? you. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, maybe Christ. I think a jack-o'-lantern is something different than you. And you don't um, want to know what I think it is. I know I don't. All right. It's in my boneyard. Oh, uh <laughs> Hey guys, it's your favorite final girl and boy, Emily and Nick, and your favorite final babysitter, Mike, Yo. coming at you with a new episode of Gag Me with an Eye, a weekly podcast where we dissect, disembowel, and shred the best and worst slasher movies. We continue this month, uh, this month's spookiness with 1988's Hack o Lantern. Thank God. As usual, Emily's got an original VHS to. It's, oh God! So carve your pumpkin, light a candle inside, he inside, <laughs> and let's hear what the back of that fucking box says. Strange things are happening in Tomming, Tommy's seeming, Tomming, Tomming, the Tomming, in Tommy's seemingly perfect town. A bloody pitchfork is found beside a mutilated corpse. Dark chanting permeates the night chill. A deranged man warns of murder and madness. Graves are robbed, and an ancient evil is about to be unleashed on the most devilish day and night of all, Halloween. Enter into a world of black secrets, revenge, and death. Spine-chilling suspense, shocking revelations, and the ultimate terror are, of all are about to be revealed when the sun goes down and the wind begins to howl. It's the season of the witch and the night of the devil. It is the unspeakable fear of hack o lantern 1988. Your thoughts? Well, you said seemingly perfect town. I didn't see much of a town. I no, saw I, a house and a barn and a basement. I was very confused. But, as well. I was like, so this town has a fucking... It, this happens a lot in movies. They had like an, a party. There was an event hall yeah, down like, the street or they, some the shit. The whole town is going to like a dance where there's a stripper. Anyway, I, I, also liked what, I also liked that Meatloaf was really good in it. And, uh, was also- <laughs> no, he's wonderful. He's a great actor. It's fantastic. <laughs> I, I like the music numbers he did. Anyway, yeah, uh, I, I loved this fucking movie. This one surprised me. I don't know how this is not up there with like Evil Dead and like or Evil Dead Two and shit like that. Like it, it's this so movie good. is so fucking good. I like, loved it so much. I really did. I thought it was. I watched it twice. I, I was like, this is within like twenty four hours. The most shit ball. <laughs> What the fuck? Like, love this. It's you, you guys never like, agree on movies. I was very surprised. I, I was too, because I had never seen this one. So, um, I'm going to watch it again. Yeah. Get us. I do also like that it, at the very beginning, it has very a TV movie feels. Like, uh, oh, like, yeah. almost, and, and sometimes, you remember those old We Sing videos from the 80s? Sure. Um, I used because I loved those when I was little, and there were some parts that made me think I was watching a Wee Sing video, except for the, then. The only one. thing that could have made this movie j- more perfect than I was is if if somewhere in the background Richard Simmons was sweating to the oldies or something. It was <laughs> yeah. like I don't I don't know how he didn't show up. Like this movie's great. The music in it is okay. The band music in it's really good, but some of the score like, is I think very the credit, opening credit score is great. I yeah. didn't, oh I did I thought it was very Wee Sing Gregory T Haggard. But um anyway. This was Let's, directed by Jag Mundra. That's an Indian man who really doesn't celebrate Halloween. So let's get, yeah, let's get Okay, we started. start off, there's a barn at dawn. A cockerel crows. There's it's a, a little long. The intro is, a pumpkin, it's, <clears throat> it's kind A of pumpkin long. truck. And uh, we see Grandpa giving his grandchild a skeleton and something wrapped up in paper. Yeah, and, he goes, and he goes, because I'm special? And I was like, no one said that, kid. I mean, like, God, welcome to a disappointing future. And, and, <laughs> and fucking Handpa gets real handsy real fucking fast. Yeah, Grandpa is He's wearing a, all these, like, pimp-ass rings, he's too. Wearing, like, I was like, cool rings, and Grandpa. And he's like this. I was like, and he, he is kissing is, this kid. It he's is got the weird. best Grandpa voice. is the best. Like, okay, he did have some really foul shit, but he is quite a character. He does, he's doing say. some really foul shit that we're talking about right now. He's, like, handsing up this boy. Yeah, but how Tommy was born. Well, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, we whatever. We also find out it's Halloween. Yes, this is, he and Tommy's a, a little boy, yeah. He gives to- little boy Tommy a pumpkin. And then we see Tommy is doing the jack-o'-lantern. And he's a shithead. And shit he's splashing head. his sister with seeds and guts yeah, He's and a stuff. fucking dick. At this point, and we don't know her name. Her name is Vera, but uh, we don't learn her name until it cuts to when they're older. But his mom gets really upset. Roger's after- also the, the other... Uh, boy, yeah, his brother. He's also a shithead. But, and Amanda, yeah. the mom. But Tommy is 
he accidentally cuts himself and he starts licking his finger and he's like, I like the taste of blood. Grandpa, Grandpa says it's and good And then he's for basically me. holding it up to his mom like, suck it, mom. Yeah. Like, I was like, okay. But you somehow, get down on this. Grandpa like, showed me how to do this. I was like, okay, the first sentence is somehow worse than the second one. I don't really know how, but she I, takes... I also like the taste of blood. She takes the... Gross. She takes like panties. But my grandpa didn't teach me. But, uh... <laughs> bullshit. Uh, uh, but, yeah, she she takes, I call bullshit on she that. She takes the pumpkin and she like well, squashes it. Well, it comes out that... He's not supposed to hang out with his grandpa. The grandpa is persona non grata. Yeah, but he's like, I'm starting not to be interested she, in the movie, Grandpa. She, I want to know about your grandpa. Yeah, she throws she throws a pumpkin and smashes it, and she's like, "Did he give you anything else?" And he's like, putting the whatever was in the tissue back in his back pocket. He's like, "No, no he's a good liar." Yeah, yeah. She smashes the pumpkin. Daddy gets home. Bill, mommy, mommy, and daddy. Amanda is the mom. Bill is the dad. And so the dad is like, like, "Why is?" Your dad's so obsessed with Tommy. And that's exactly how he sounds when he acts. Yep. (laughs) Why is your dad so obsessed with Tommy? And he's like, he, well, he's not going to, he's whatever. He's like, we're going (laughs) to, it's like, I'm going to deal with this. And he's like, he's not going to do this. Not tonight. Damn it, woman. I don't care. He doesn't say it like that. He's doing that. And he's getting to the door and she's trying to stop him. And he goes, damn it, woman. (laughs) <laughs> like this guy is so dead. I don't care that it's Halloween. <laughs> well, he should because he goes to confront front grandpa. It's not just Halloween; it's full moon. No, Halloween. grandpa's playing D and D. No, he's at the barn with his Cold. with his five cloaked figures. Dude, it's just larping. And but Bill completely disregards the fact that there is like this weird cult ceremony. Going Nobody on. seems to give a shit about that he, at no, all. In he, this no, movie. like when he walks up to it, he like it's just like oh normal, and he's like just talking to the grandpa, and it's like okay, but there's a weird like ceremony going on. But nobody but. is really affected by terrible things in this movie. Well, Grandpa says bye bye, Bill. Well, he said, then, no, he says Tommy. Before that, he says Tommy is a legacy for either the cult, the devil, or something. And then he says bye, Bill. At he's nine the minutes, prophesied one. When he says bye, Bill, uh, he gets another cult Bill member. Gets, uh, yeah, gets smashed hat. in the back of the head with a hammer. And yeah. I kind of liked it. I thought it was a hatchet. We knew him so. Oh, so I think so it was little. a. We it was like know. a tool hammer. I barely knew. But he. they, the, but they not only do that, they drag him out to his car and they fucking. They explode the car. They explode like, the car. And that's and a nice ass fucking car, dude. Burn, and he goes, Burn in hell, Bill. And then there's a great evil laugh. But we can see Dude, okay, so I was Tom, like I was like, this is so, the new I was like, this is the new Freddy. Grandpa they wanted him to be the new Freddy. I wanna Freddy. say something about grandpa. One liner pumpkin salesman cultist. I wanna say something <laughs> like, about grandpa before before Jack we get Walter to the Reeves. next part of the story. Grandpa doesn't seem to be a day over forty seven. <laughs> no. And uh and, it, and then, so, like, so, what? how old do you think Tommy is as a child? Probably, like, eight or something. Okay, so, we're, okay, so, I agree with that. We're sticking with eight. Is that, Mike, you think so? I think yeah. probably Okay, eight, so, when yeah. we get to the next part of the story, well, I, I want to say something. I think he's going to be, like, 18. Bill's, we see no, Bill's headstone later, and it says that the stuff in the past was happening in 1968. Oh, I did read that. I did read that. So, it, it was 19. 13 years. 13 years. No, that would have been 20 gone. years. It's It'd be 20 years. This is 1988. The stuff happened in 1968. So if he was no, eight, wait, he's no. now 28. This is this is exactly what I'm talking about. And wait, hold on. Homegirl just turned 18, so that doesn't make sense. She wouldn't have been born yet. Well, when we get to the next part Maybe of the story, right. I got something to say. No, it is 13 years. I wrote. I yeah. don't understand why mom lets Halloween affect her, and I can't, and can't get over her husband dying that that night 13 years ago. Because Vera says it was 13 years okay, ago. So in five, the movie, it's 13 years. Yeah. This will prove my point even more. Okay. Sorry, I, I didn't mean well, to. Well, you were up. getting ahead of ourselves, but, but yeah. But we see Tommy on his bed, and you can see the fire. Little Tommy. Little, but still and kid he, Tommy. But he gets his, like, little orange tissue out. But do you think that the car exploded right outside of Tommy's no, house? No, it was outside of the barn. Because you can see the glow in the window. But no, I, I So that would that would lead us to believe that Bill has known that Grandpa's been being all satanic and D&D out in the fucking barn. The, the barn, he's like, no, I'm sick of no, this no, that's, it, it's far away okay, from that. He doesn't, right. He's not anywhere near, because he's not even allowed to be near the, the her family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, well, uh, yeah, I, that's a so, smart move. So they do this little transition where he gets... Uh, he gets his little tissue paper out, but there's Talisman. this like uh, it's a necklace like with a pentagram, a and he sigil. starts and he starts like doing a thing where it looks like hypnotizing himself, but mm-hmm. then it just is a transition into 13 years later. So I guess he's like all grown up. Uh, maybe he was younger than eight because okay. I feel like I feel like so he, for his legacy he, he needs like to be 18. Not a, so grandpa and. Uh, when he's grandpa, no, he he looks like not a day over forty-seven. Together. This guy looks like he's not a day over like thirty-six. Really? Like, yeah, and he's supposed to be how old? 
twenty what? No, he'd be if he was Well, I eight okay, I 21. feel like I feel like he would need he to be He looks way older than twenty one. <laughs> but see, I feel like he's I feel like he's he's supposed to be playing like an eighteen year old because wouldn't well, that be when your Vera legacy just turned eighteen? And this is Gregory oh, okay. Cummings of It's Always Maybe, Sunny in we'll, Philadelphia we'll call fame. It he's Max Dad and he's also in Phantom of the Mall as the the mafia uh, security cop, the fake security cop. Yeah. This guy's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but this, he does look about to be about thirty five. Yeah, and he old. naturally looks shady, so he explodes. He's got it. the scariest eyes. I know, man. He's terrifying. And then, so like he, it's he, Halloween again. Basically, hip, is hypnotizing himself into future rock and roll Tommy. So well, yeah. Okay, so is that what we're talking about? The dream? Not yet. Not okay, yet. okay. No, I was just saying, like he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, now he's, he's pretty, like a he's rock pretty and metal, roller. dude. Yeah, but he's you know now it's Halloween older Tommy and Grandpa's back. Yeah, Grandpa comes pumpkins. back. Mom's watching in the window. And it's going to be a special night for he Tommy. He says tonight is is Tommy's, and he's going to learn his strength. And they do their cool handshake. Their uh, their oh oh yeah, they satanic do the, handshake. Let's devil they horn high five uh, with some kind of help. Yeah, and then, the, and the then horns does, connect. They then, like, yeah, yeah. But after that, uh, Grandpa does some kind of like hail mary, but with like the but with the devil horn. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's like That's does great. the five things. Or whatever. It's like what those people do at raves and when they're dancing. And then I wrote, I wrote in all caps, Tommy's face when he turns around, I'm dying. Because his face looks so fucking ridiculous. Is that when he stares directly yeah, in the camera? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so Grandpa takes off. And somehow Mom, who but was watching was like, from the it, window. Who was watching from the window. She jumps out on a dirt road and is in front of the confronts vehicle. Grandpa. I was like, how did she get there? Okay. She wants Grandpa to leave Tommy alone. You know, that, and yeah, we have I a flashback. Too. And then they have a flashback. I was like, is this... I was like, is this really the first time they've talked about this in the past 13 years? Because that's what it seemed like. But yeah, yeah. You'd think, I like, you know, like, think if Grandpa grandpa's... comes and hangs out often. But, but, you know, like, you don't have a restraining order brunch. against Grandpa after fucking 13 well, years. Well, we find out that Tommy is actually not, was not Bill's. Tommy was the product of incest between Amanda and Grandpa on yeah. her wedding night. Yeah, wedding yeah, that's, night, that's pretty graphic. Her. Yeah. That, so, uh, that guy leans and, into that role, too, a little bit I, I too said, much. I said, Grandpa's now gross, but still pretty hilarious. Dude, he was gross from the beginning. Handpa, dude. And then uh, he, he goes... He steps on her corsage. What right? a, I don't know who is it. Her, Amanda. One of them says, you have no power here. And I was like, isn't that from something? You have no power here. Well, I think here. Grandpa's doing his best pa- Emperor Palpatine impression through this whole thing. Star Wars, sorry, nerd. But she goes, "It's not nature, it's nerd. death." And I was like, "Isn't that nature? Yeah, isn't death like part of nature?" I, I think that's okay. what Grandpa's trying to stop. Yeah. That's why it's unnatural. But okay, <laughs> eternal anyway. life. She, uh, mom, <clears throat> is somehow back in the garden again when Vera's friend Beth, Beth shows up. Yeah, she finds Vera in the bathtub and she replaces the loofah with a fake spider. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I was like, good thing uh, she had all those bubbles to cover up her tits in front of her friend Beth. I think she shows more emotion and reaction to this fake spider and being so scared of it and freaked out about it by any of the deaths or anything she experiences <laughs> so in this fucking movie. And hey, then, man, Carla B. rules. Yeah, and then dude. that's when Vera's like complaining basically about how her mom lets Halloween affect her and can't get over the... like. Their, her husband, their dad, dying that night on 13 years ago. I was like, really, Vera? You can't understand why this day affects her so bad? I mean... Well, she didn't know him that long. She was only like five. And then Beth is like... Beth asks if Tommy's going to this dance. If that's for the whole town. Yeah. And I was like, why would Tommy be going? And then she's going as Princess Dot. And why and would I was like, anybody what? really want Tommy there? He's, he's, not, a, he's not exuding Dye, an right? award-winning personality. No, but she goes as Prince. She says she's going as Princess Dot. This is pre-Princess Dye. Death? This is, yeah, this is 1988. She yeah, didn't die yeah. like the 97 or oh, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was a Yeah. Um, but she's but later on when you see her outfit, it's not any. It's just like a prom dress. It's nothing like it's not a princess died dress. They were not dressed up for Halloween no. at all. But we, uh, then the, we cut to a cop, and I was like, I bet you, Rod, I bet you the other son's a fucking cop, and it is. It's a good son. And yeah. don't you notice He's, how Roger should have been the actor that played Tommy because yes. he looks exactly like the child. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, and Tommy but, looks nothing like the but, fucking well, child. Well, at the end of Tommy the movie, Tommy looks like he was born with like a beard. I think, <laughs> and a beard well, Tommy's hand. lips are also like so and like they look like so enhanced. But whatever, Roger. Roger is, shows up in his I don't know. We come full circle with that at the end. Oh, yeah. So you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
So he's, but he's having to work this town party. Yeah. Did you, did you notice the other cop in there that his boss is like a low rent Tom Atkins mold or yes. whatever? Like that guy sucks, but it's like, where do they make these dudes? And goes, they always play this shit. He's like, can you check this grave? And he's, uh, and Roger's like, I know it's a grave situation. That was, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah. All right, Dudley, do you right? You fucking And then loser. Tommy, Tommy's down in his like, Basement dungeon room, room that's like he's got cool with a too. mattress with no sheet on it. Mom's beating on his that door. That house they live in is and very like, nice and big, and, and he's, he's choosing to do this. This, yeah. is, this is also Southern like, California. Go away, right? mom. I'm busy. There's no basements in California, right? That's what I thought. I, I think that's a separate. I don't know, but he's like, go away, mom. I'm busy. Somebody from California Tonight's call us. Tell us if you have basements. <laughs> he's busy, so he has to. I gotta listen put to some, some tapes. heavy metal headphones. I gotta listen to tapes that recorded stuff onto in a weird ding dingy basement on um, an air mattress with no sheet. It's not an air mattress, but we get to a fucking insane, awesome music video. Yeah, it is it's the shit. Dream. Devil's Son. Yeah. Dude. The music By video. By DC something. DC, DC Croy? Something. Croy? Okay. Okay. Did you guys it's notice? It's like LaCroix, but so like Tom, DC Croy. Tommy's having a rock and roll wet dream about him playing in a band. No, but he's playing guitar. He's it playing guitar. Like, did nope. you notice that in his dream, what he's dreaming, he dreamt he was the rhythm guitar player because somebody gets in front of him and oh, immediately yeah. starts shredding a solo. And it's like, so you didn't, in your dream world, you didn't even believe you were a decent <laughs> yeah. guitar player. But in <laughs> like, the dream, there's like this, like, <laughs> pos- what this, uh, she, this, uh, a, a, a black lady. Yeah, but yeah, behind yeah. her, it's just but she's supposed to have all these arms like the, coming out, you know, the but they're Shiba all, arms. But they're all white. Arms, yeah. They're all white, all white arms. I, and I was like, that. okay. And then she starts like her. She has lasers from she's, her eyes crashing into the ceiling. It's like tongues. Kiss versus Phantom of the Park. Did or you Kiss meets Phantom tongue? of the Park. It was only for a split second. She had this yeah, huge yeah. tongue. Yeah, yeah, dude. This music video fucking rocks. Yeah, she lasers her. She she I, well, she lasers the guitar out of his the hands. First, the crash, she, <laughs> which she, I would do. He sucks. Yeah, she she turns lasers the into into the symbol of the heads. the drums, and then to make the other ma- members of the band disappear. Because this she is Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Cool, cool, whatever. Wait, oh, wait, she, wait. But she ends up decapitating him with a pitchfork yeah. in the dream, and that's when he wakes up. Yeah. The, and that's, he's all sweaty, and, you know, he just, like, squirted. And we see that Amanda can't keep her shit Amanda's together. the mom. Yeah, she's yeah. crying again in the garden when Roger shows up. And we see them talking about... Tommy, basically. Tommy. But don't they also talk about... Brian, maybe. Who's Brian? Brian's Vera's boyfriend. But anyway, we, uh, I don't know. She's Not like really. the people Tommy. You should see the people Tommy have been hanging out with, and it cuts to Nora, the hot blonde, buying booze. Heineken. Lots of booze. It looked like champagne and vodka in a yeah, Heineken well, bottle. Yeah, and she has a, so, and she a has a tattoo on her butt. Apparently, the, these people are talking about it. Yeah, all she has a tattoo on her students. butt. It's a pentagram. An ass pentagram. She's like, into weird satanic stuff. Satanic tramp stamp. She's into weird stuff. She's rich, and she hangs with Tommy. And then you see Nora, and she goes, at, Tommy's, like, waiting outside for her, and she's like, it's your big day. And then Grandpa comes up. And Grandpa and Tommy, I, I would say Grandpa scolds Tommy for be, even being out of the house. Well, he says screw her brains out, but that but witch doesn't have none. it. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, she, but I, he, was, but he, he says, would say screw her, be but, pure, boy. but she doesn't have any brains in her. And I was like, he's like, you got to be pure tonight. Go home, Nora. Nice car. Is that a Z? That's what I said. That, that was my brain. Does, oh, okay. does fucking, <laughs> does fucking your brain. girlfriend make you unpure? I think or you're not impure. For some magical really? uh, what you supposed, what you're you're been, not supposed to What have you been like, like sleeping with her for, for like I a think few you years? You're supposed to hold your seed How for do you like get a few pure days you, before you... Really? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to be a virgin. I know you're not spe- I've heard you're not supposed to spill it anywhere besides like on some eggs, but I heard we- you're not supposed to spill eggs ever on their face or their tits. If we got any magic oh, workers out there, well, that's where I've been going. I've been, I've been going on we're the couch busted, They're busted inside and get ready for nine months later. I've but been spilling it all over I the couch. I thought it was kind of strange that Nora, like, so Tommy's having his dream. He wakes up. Nora takes him to the store in her car and then yeah. just takes him right back home. Yeah. Because she drops and she him takes off. Him up, she's like, I'm going to be in the pool I'll be in the pool if you need me. And he's like, hey, mom. And it's really awkward. Dude, uh, and Tommy did well for himself. Nora's a piece. Oh, and she's yeah. all punked out. And then yeah. it's like, it works for me. I normally don't like if, that stuff. If you want to see more of Nora, there's like 250 pornos you could watch dude, from the really? 90s. That's awesome. But yeah. we, I, well, then, yeah. then we find out that Vera is... Gina uh, Fine. Is her Vera's going to fuck her boyfriend for the first yeah. time. Or you know, she says soon. Vera and... She thinks. She goes, I think I'm going to fuck Vera him soon. He, <laughs> like, I'm going to fuck him soon. He... he. 
Tr- we're gonna call it trick or treats. Yeah, and mom doesn't want Vera around anyone either. Like she's very much like she needs to let go. She, yeah. She's like can't let go of her. Apparently. Kids. Um, and they're like. Vera, Tommy, and Roger, they they can't live at home for fucking ever. But then also it cuts to Tommy lifting, which was pretty hilarious. Yeah, but he first looked, but first <laughs> Roger and Beth first meet and start flirting immediately. And there's a dead-end drive-in poster in Tommy's dungeon. Then yeah, I we saw see that. Yeah. Roger talking to... She tries to talk to Tommy. Oh, this Tommy's is like, hilarious. Why are you always annoying me? Yeah, he goes, uh, what do you do all day? Jesus. And then they like kind of get in a fight. And then he's like, basically... Tommy's like, basically, <laughs> look at my candle skull pentagram no, shrine. He's no. like, what do you do down here all day? And he's like, do you want to see my jerk room? <laughs> no, he <laughs> said, he <laughs> says, uh, he uh, says it, it sure is stuffy down here, and Tommy's like, I like it like that. Yeah, he says, I go, I go. <laughs> smells like Bedissi. I wrote, Tommy likes it stuffy. And, and, yeah. and he, but that's after he was doing some pull-ups. Tommy likes it stuffy. But, he starts shoving his little brother. And then he's like, it's all Grandpa's fault. And I was like, so everyone... <laughs> I was like, so everyone knows this and doesn't care that like he has a shrine. Everybody has known this. Everybody knows that Tommy has a shrine, a shrine of, with candles and a pentagram and like but the worshiping barn, the, the devil. How'd you look get like this? Cool? I've been telling no. you, it's they Grandpa. Should have, they should have Tommy like design the barn, even if he gets kicked out of the cold weather. They should be like, dude, you're taking over decorating. So this is when we see. This is when I knew, knew for well. She, okay, Vera had already said it had been 13 years. But then we see Amanda okay. going to her uh, husband's grave. And so it shows the years. And I was like, so this is set in 1981 if Dad died in 1968. Because it says yeah. that he died in 1968. And it's been 13 years, so that they would be 1981. So why is this movie set seven years prior to it coming out? <laughs> I don't I, like, know. Yeah. Everything yeah. about the timeline is super confusing. And I was just like... Even though it didn't hurt the movie at all. No, it didn't. Like, I was just like, why? This is the only hmm. time where this shit works. But I was just like, I don't understand why they're setting this seven years prior to either. when it came out. But that and it, and it doesn't look like it was filmed and shelved. You know, like it no, looks like it, it came out. It, it looks like yeah. it came out in '88. It looks know, like it was filmed made, in like '87. Filmed in '87, yeah. you probably. So anyway. So Vera and we get to Vera. Vera and Beth are walking in the woods. The mom scares them. And then we're Nora's in the pool looking. Jesus, that's the best bikini ever. Like Dude, the thong, yeah. yes. the thong yes, see-through man. shirt. Combination. I was like, well, Nora didn't lie. She Dude, is the, in the pool. This is the part of the movie where I started noticing. It's like girls don't know how to wear clothes in this movie. And I, know. I fucking love, I love she, it. She gets, <laughs> like, she gets out. She gets out immediately and like takes a for shower. Shits it for tits. And I was like, there's is there a shirt continuity thing there? Because I figured thought she had a. Sh- she had a shirt on that she didn't, and I think it was the same shirt. That oh, she it's, was... oh, and I was like, oh, a cloak. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, the music's really dumb. Yeah, it's a cloaked figure. Yeah, but the, the music's red, really dumb right there. The hooded intruder. And I was like, last chance, Tommy. I don't know why I wrote that. <laughs> well, she, oh, keeps she saying, says it. She says it. There's like, a, she oh, hears she something. Thi- she, she hears something, something and she thinks it's Tommy, right? So the cloak dude with a mask. And we see him in the window, and yeah. she sees him. She assumes it's Tommy, and she says something about Bloody Mary and no, Devil's makes, Delight. She makes a Bloody Mary, and she creates some concoction called Devil's Delight. De- and I want to know what the I fuck a too. Devil Delight is. We need to Google that shit yeah. after the episode. Uh, maybe I'll do um, yeah, uh, She takes right off her clothes. After we get done with this, I'll just show you. She takes off her is clothes. Is this going to be a Brett Kavanaugh <laughs> thing? And no. Ends up getting stabbed no. in the neck with a pitchfork. <laughs> Am I jumping See, the gun? Wait, here? sorry, go no. ahead. No, say what you were saying. She makes these drinks, <laughs> takes off her clothes, lays down on the couch. Oh, she closed her eyes and she's like, oh, it. surprise me. Oh, okay. I found okay. the Devil's yeah. Delight drink. Sorry. Okay. Let's take a little pause for okay. the Devil's Delight. Okay. All right. It is a fourth ounce vodka, a fourth ounce brandy, a fourth ounce grand... Monnier. Mon- yeah. She's got a whole bar. A fourth ounce... Curacao. Curacao. Ounce lime juice, two ounces of lemon juice, and an ounce of simple, simple syrup. syrup. Man, that uh, so good. that, um, yeah, that sounds gross that, to that, me. That sounds. I, I think it's cool, but that is not the devil delight I was talking. See, about. I was. I anyway. know, but I was thinking it was going to be mine's like some not kind a drink of like, unless you make I it, it gonna, one. I feel like in my head it was, it was like absent. one of those. It looked like absinthe. It was going to be one of those like green punch drinks that you get at like a. a you know, family reunions. Oh, that has the sherbet in it. Yeah, it's so good. God, that <laughs> shit's good. Like I thought it was gonna be like that with vodka. Can anybody answer? And I just want to ask the the audience this: all four of you that are listening, uh, <laughs> why eight. do people call it sherbet when there's no R in it? Look it up. I, I always thought it was sherbet, and I'm not sherbet. talking about sorbet. But anyway, let's move on. Anyway, okay. Back Hit us to, up. Email us. So uh, Nora gets killed. Yeah. Yeah. Nora gets a pitchfork Dude, right okay. in there. I got a point side, about like, this. 
The pitchfork, it's a really, it's actually a cool death. So, her f- first is. of all, she says she's in costume, and I was like, so is your costume is full frontal. Yeah, and, and Lady Godiva. Yeah, and uh, that's how she gets her bread and butter. I was like, Dude. oh, the, the last time she's like, well, last time you left Mark, said so she gets a pitchfork to the side of her head and her neck. So it's yeah. like in her head and her neck. It looks pretty but cool. But I have a I have thirty-nine a ca- minutes. I have into a the counterpoint movie. about this. So like, she's kind of enticing him, the guy in the mask, because she thinks it's her boyfriend Tommy, mm-hmm. who's satanic as fuck. But the satanist who does kill her. I understand later we're going we're gonna to know who it is. Well, wouldn't it, it could. Be, wouldn't it, at this point, I thought, wouldn't it be more satanic to fuck her and then kill her? Yeah, but also in, you know, this happens in Blood Cult, which we've already covered. It's a sh- way shittier movie than yes. this. But it, technically, I, 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 we're led to believe, I know who we're led to believe it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, But it could have been really any of the cult members trying yeah. to get, yeah, trying yeah, was, to get rid it of. It was the same one. Try, I know, but like. I love it, how we're trying could, to pretend we're not but, spoiling this. But one, I could see it's how. So good. But I could see how how Grandpa would want the cult members to get Nora out of the way so he'd be pure for the night. So it, I mean, you know, Tommy whatever. was at home. So anyway, Grandpa. I guess I, I thought it was Tommy. At so this Grandpa's point. back being the uh, pumpkin salesman, and he goes up to beer, and he's creepy. Yeah, he shows up. They're they're dressing the house up or whatever. Or the, that it's, place. it's the what town is hall. Yeah, it's, the, it's like. Like, They're getting ready for the party. This happens a lot in the, horror. Uh, not the a lot. Weirdest party of all but it's time. like that, this, this happens sometimes in horror movies, and it's weird. It's like when do whole towns have a fucking dance, and especially this kind of dance where there's a stripper. But okay. Like no, in, well, we'll get into that. But in anyway, times. so he says <laughs> he says some really gross shit to Vera. He says that uh, she's tempting. Yeah. Like, he says kind of some of the same stuff that he had oh, said yeah. in the flashback with Amanda when he fucks her. And this her... grandpa is f- trying to fuck every member of his family. Yeah, but Brian, her boyfriend, I guess that's pretty no satanic. Moral code. But Brian is, c- comes up from behind. That's Vera's boyfriend. He's not having this. And then grandpa acts jealous. And so, anyway, they're decorating well, Brian for this. Brian tries to apologize when he figures out it's Vera's grandpa. Yeah, grandpa's making fun. And puts his hand out, and grandpa just storms off. Then he makes fun of Roger for being a cop. Le- lol. And then he's openly oh. satanic. He's got a can. <laughs> he's, then he says, see you in hell, Roger. Yeah, yeah. I was like, see you in hell, Roger. That's open. his grandson. He is very openly. <laughs> he's very openly satanic. Like, he does not give a shit. Yeah, and nobody like, else seems to give a shit either. No, no. And it's also a good catch line. Yeah, see well, you in hell. Yeah, well, he could, he could have been like, see you in Valhalla or something but no yeah. did, did you notice whenever uh, one of the girls uh, it's it's the sister um Vera. Vera. yeah she tells roger to fix his perfect hair yeah. she's like well before you <laughs> before you come tonight fix your hair and it's like you look like a ken doll he yeah. really does like, like, ken doll. what the he, fuck uh, th- when he, so when roger goes up to them I, one of them says the family's very opinionated i was like okay that's one way see they're dancing around they, and, they're, they're, they're yeah. beating around the bush and vera's this. like basically tells brian she's like go to your car and i'll be there in five minutes to fuck what but, is she, which is she, what you want to hear but hey roger you should get with beth and and beth and roger immediately they're like but no, he she, walks in and he just but, grabs but her first, and they go, she, but vera, tells, she go holding vera tells him to make her think that he might be interested even if he's not everybody then, in this town is. knows how to fucking party and even grandpa wrote, and then like, I, I did right fix roger hair question mark? yeah it's perfect uh, yeah, no, it's but, immaculate but then Beth's it's sitting on him movie. and then uh tommy i want to fuck this movie we get to tommy walking in on vera and brian yeah and he kicks but they were not in the car not in no, the car they will go back to vera's house the, yeah where her mom should be crying somewhere yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she's in the garden she should be yeah some, she's, she's in the garden yeah she's probably gardening and crying <laughs> and um <laughs> But Tommy and Grandpa's something. jerking off to it. Or some but shit. They're, like, uh, they're in Vera's bed. He, he kind of kicks uh, Brian's ass and throws him out. For uh, I don't understand this Scarface effect. Why are you keeping guys from fucking your grown sister? I was like, well, guess like, she'll. I guess guess she'll say a virgin. Does that mean he loves her? I don't know, but he says Nick. He <sighs> does like say uh, next time one. you're dead. Yeah, he's down to my room. And her boyfriend's not an asshole. Then, he's not a bad dude. And then he's like, well, down to my room with sex arts he graffiti starts, on the wall. Yeah. He starts, and he puts uh, on a Rambo headband. <laughs> and he, and, and, and he, he starts packing his bag. He gets a switch and he gets a switchblade and then he puts it in his bag. I'm yeah. sorry. He's like got this like Rambo boot, gear. Dude. I don't know. Then we see Brian walking in the graveyard. He oh, hears yeah. something. By the way, the cemetery is apparently the shortcut the to anywhere in the town. You have to walk through the cemetery. <laughs> like everyone walks through the cemetery to get anywhere in this fucking movie. Sure. Um but I was like I think that's the town is the cemetery. But I wrote, Why are you all pissed? You bitched out, Brian. 
Like you bitched out, you you ran away. No, no, he he was doing the right thing, man. He was, he was just like, away. man, fuck this. But like, we he see, got his, he got his ass kicked in the middle of Tommy's coitus. Tommy's huge. But we see the first person <laughs> okay, POV. We see the first person POV, and, and Tommy's like, evil too. It's and like, it's a cloaked killer. We got the guy in the hood. This time he's got a shovel, and he starts chasing Brian with the shovel. Well, Brian falls into a pretty shallow grave that's been prepared. With no casket, dug. but it has bones in yeah, it. It's very just, convenient. There's just a skull sitting there. Yeah. yeah. And there's a really great uh, it's shovel really good to effect. the head. Yeah, effect. shovel to the head. It's a really good yeah, it's effect. It's awesome, yeah. And, um, and I was like, and he's already in the grave the uh, for convenience. And he so. starts shittily burying Brian. Yeah, but I was like, that's convenient. Yeah. No, it's very already convenient. Already in the grade. Yeah. Grave. Grade. But... Yeah. Then we see Vera on the phone with Roger somehow. Yeah, and they're talking about Tommy. I guess he had to call her because he's at a payphone and she wouldn't know. Everybody's beating around the bush about all this shit. Everybody's talking about Tommy and it's like everybody knows what's going on. They're worshiping Satan and they're being terrible. Grandpa's weird. Yeah, and they're like, Tommy's too much, but Beth, get her back here for her costume and also be careful. She's wild. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. <laughs> uh, okay. And, and then, then Mom, Am- Amanda. Mom comes in really disheveled. Oh, she she says that she's been in the, she's taking care of the orchard, but she okay. looks like a... She's can, I, just can I spoil slung. the killer yet? She's the killer. She's so the killer. She, so yeah. she is slung, but she looks she's like she's... She's got a fucking mask on. Why does she have dirt on her face? I know. Oh, she has it all over face it's on her face like cakes on oh and she but goes, she's wearing a mask but she goes you only have time for your friends and i was like these are your fucking grown-ass children you need to calm the fuck down i wonder why they want to get away from you wonder I, why they want to be also, that's, that's, that's not like, nearly as important of them having a normal childhood at their age than what tommy and grandpa are doing out in that fucking barn dude no, like, yeah, that's probably the problem the, you need I, to address I was, like, I was like ooh, nighttime grandpa being hilarious leading the ceremony for the cult i wrote Nice sunset. Back in the devil's barn. And we welcome the night. Share the blood. The, the yeah, hour of Satan is upon us. He and fills yeah, up share a cup. the blood. It's like, that's disgusting. He fills up a cup from a bloody goat's head. And he yeah. says, share the blood. Oh, they tried, the to, count the, they the tried to count the goat in the kill count. That's bullshit. On this. It wasn't even like, on that, screen. And no. you, you know, every member since they share in the blood, they all have what a kind like, of, furious case of What kind of, of vegan herpes. murder count have you been It's the same. It's the same one I always use, and they never put animals in it as part of it. I was like, that doesn't count. I mean, count. if a dog gets killed as part of the action, I can understand. But, but it's, this, not a, it's not part of the kill you count. You don't see them buy the goat or it doesn't, cut the No, I mean, when animals die in a movie, they're not part of the kill count. That's just not. I like to imagine they had some kind of blood knob. They were just turning. Yeah, I got a blood so knob have, right here. Whoa. They have this girl, and I that so she's like naked, and I was like, is she a sacrifice or something? And but she's branded on her ass with the same pentagram tattoo thing that Nora had. She had great gloves. Yeah, this leads but me to believe like, that Nora they're, they're was just part of the cult. Her. But they yeah. don't like kill her or anything like that. No, no. Well, Nora was. I think she's taking Nora's place. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they shouldn't know Nora's. You have to have the Scarlet like, Lady. Where the fuck's Nora at? I thought yeah. she was bringing all that She was supposed to be here, but yeah. some other girl, whatever. The Hermetic Order of but, the Golden um, Dawn. So, yeah, Roger and Beth are in the cemetery now. So, the town needs to get over the cemetery is what I said. <laughs> but, yeah. um, they find some trick-or-treaters, and he pulls a gun on them, but they're just counting their candy. Eh. Well, have you noticed how that's a terrible fucking police tactic to take your girlfriend, who you just met that day, on a fucking thing with a loaded gun? Yeah, like on, goes, a, on a well, criminal case. She tells him that. I think that's part of the appeal for she her. She tells though, right? him well, that yeah, he's I know in she's getting uniform. off on it because she 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 says you're in grave trouble. Oh God damn! Have you ever <laughs> fucked in a grave? No, have you? Dude, I've fu- I think I've she fucked has. on a grave and it's the I have shit. It's so there's good. like some grave rubbing and some. But like, he, no, there's you 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 stop before the good part. It says I never thought of myself as dead meat, and she says, "Dead or alive, you will arise at my command." She should have said, <laughs> "Dead or alive, you're coming with me like Robocop," because they fuck after this. That would have been way better than that grave joke. But then when they're fucking, she she's holding a she ends up hand. holding a corpse's hand, but she never. So it's a cold. threesome. <laughs> she never figures that. I guess it's Brian, but she never well, figures he, at that. At least out. he finally did get laid in the movie after Tommy ran him off. And, and it just had to said, fucking be in the she ground. She was like, he enjoyed it. She can tell. Like, she can tell he enjoyed it. Uh, so, okay. I, I wish it showed more of the more of the sex scene. But Roger doesn't approve of her being friends with his sister, but whatever. But when they get on the bike, doesn't Roger say, I gotta work tonight, and it's been night forever? Yeah, well, because he's supposed, like, to work, he's supposed to work the party. I don't know when this got, game, He's oh, gotta oh, yeah, get Beth yeah. over to Vera at 7. Yeah. There's gonna be... And, I, and, and then I wrote party time. Who's the whore? The band at the party. So. Just Dude, the band fucking a, rules, man. That two mink stole. I think this band is called Aquanet's Last Stand. This is 88. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's, uh, so there's uh, the town part. I said town parties are weird. I don't know. This but party looks bad. There's ass. a bondage. It's the weirdest party ever. There, there's a, town a bondage hall. kitty, and I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" Because I was like, "I said okay." So at the town Halloween party where they have police presence, so it's like for the whole town. They have a stripper, and he doesn't get. And a also, fuck. there is one guy dressed up as a fucking Vietnam vet with a fucking bandage around his head and a head <laughs> wound. I was like, "That's rude." I was like, "Just like those people that went at the Virginia Tech." That is, tech, that like is the nowhere people. near uh, uh, as offensive as other movies we've seen with parties where people well, dressed up, or the people in real life that dressed up like the year after it happened. It's like a, a victims of the Virginia Tech shooting. My, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know that happened. Yeah, my sure. favorite of the costumes was definitely the big salad bowl hat. I, that that was awesome, dude. It was like yeah. a big bowl of salad. And then, then they, they cut outside, <laughs> and I was like, "Who?" It, I was like. Who's this stand-up comedian at the party? Was Howie he... Mandel showed up to the fucking party. Oh, he's he's doing a mean could, ass at Howie Mandel. It's I wish. couldn't tell. I, could, I was Mandel. like, was he paid or is this just something he's doing? And for some re- reason, people want to listen to him. Yeah, I, like, I think it's a real comedian. I was like, what the fuck is this chicken He must shit? be because his delivery is so close. I it's said, what, like, the co- what the fuck is this chicken shit? It's the best turkey impression I've ever seen. It's really good. Yeah. Like... So, anyway, I said, Beth, how is that Beth princess die so costume? The, par- the party's not... already raging, but Beth and Vera are just now getting dressed. And they're not dressed up as anything. No. They're just getting dolled up. Yeah, but she's princess die. Whatever. She starts talking about how they fuck- she fucked Roger in the graveyard. And Vera wants to see where. So, they're in the graveyard now. Because, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you know, uh, that's what you do. Where'd you do it? <laughs> based on the spider prank that Beth pulled earlier... Vera sees a well. Brian's first, before, hand before they get to the graveyard, a, someone goes, "Where did you go?" And they don't say another word to each other. Until they're I, I in the like graveyard. how she wanted to go see where they fucked, yeah, but you like, could just look you, at any yeah, one's bed, where? and then she just goes there. Oh, nice fake hand. And prank. also, those dead people don't need respect. <laughs> Fake so hand? She fi- she pulls on the fake hand. Yeah, but, but Beth is like, I didn't put that there. She finds her boyfriend. My boyfriend's bad badly hands. buried. <laughs> yeah, ba- poorly buried. And <laughs> Back she's, to the band. But she's like, no, she goes, Tommy must have done it. And right? so it seems like now Vera's out for revenge. But whatever. And apparently they go to the barn. We see the band play and there's some more party I scenes. I didn't know they like poison... But with a with David like a bootleg Dave, David Lee Roth is the singer. Yeah, like, this is the, dude, it's awesome. This yeah. band, this party, yeah. fucking rules. I was like, so so Vera's gonna crash this. At yeah. this point, she's gonna she's decided she's gonna crash the ceremony like her so grandpa's ceremony. She must ceremony. not know that there's a ceremony going on, right? Like, no, she, she I think she, she does. does. I, I said this is awkward. This is how her dad got killed is busting in on the Halloween. I was like, this is the ceremony blood. of blood, you dummy. Durr. Now yeah. pay the, the price. hour of Satan is upon us. Now pay the price of sacrilege. What is that contraption anyway? So Beth <laughs> just is standing there waiting on Vera. Well, the power to get is back the out. power is the blood, by the way. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely you know. power is the blood. <laughs> Tommy, re- Tommy released the power. The Share master the demand, blood. The, and man, uh, did he? He says it. the master demands the sacrifice. And I was like, but wasn't there already that blonde girl? So, so that's whatever. why. He, that's why he had to be Wait, pure. Because the blonde girl is part of the cult. She just got initiated so, by getting the but we, tattoo. But the we trademark. do see that yeah. Tommy. I don't think, I'm not convinced there was going to be a human sacrifice. I don't know. But before Tommy, Vera came, we do in. See I the, think only the only time somebody gets sacrificed is if you met, if you interrupt Grandpa's service. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy like, does. Otherwise, you're just gonna drink some. Blood. So like other We like find God. out that Tommy does have morals though because he won't grandma's trying to get him to kill his sister and he won't As do my it. My sister. So uh he says you hear grandpa say, Damn her and Vera and Beth get the fuck out. So yeah. uh grandpa find Roger. Well, they get out, and then whenever they're talking well, on the they're bridge, going to the town. Well, when they, Party. whenever Vera gets out, and she's like talking to uh, Beth on the bridge, it's almost she's like, "We just need to get the fuck out of here." It's like they almost fucking yeah. killed you. Yeah. And you know, so, and, Grandpa and your boyfriend's dead. is not happy. So, I guess out of thirteen years, this has probably happened more than once since they're since they're all so desensitized to it. Yeah. It's like Grandpa tried to kill me again. Um, you want to get out of here? Yeah, Grandpa's like, not happy. This is his family, and he he's, vanishes. But Tommy. he, he Satan says, is he's this, tedious. He tells Tommy, "This is his family." And um, that Gross. he has failed the true master, which is the devil, obviously. It made me look And bad. now Tommy has no place here. I was like, well, good job, Grandpa. You waited 13 they... years, and you very quickly dismissed the one. Yeah. Grandpa looks like he's about to go on stage uh, flamboyantly, by but, the way. But we and are interrupted like, by a snake dance. By Tommy. And then some bitch starts dancing with a snake. Yeah. At yeah. The party. This party fucking rules, dude. And, yeah. They must have had a big entertainment. And, yeah, it's, ba- it's all like, don't bring Tommy back. Grandpa has to do something. 
That's what he says. And then it cuts back to the party with the belly dancer with the snake. Yeah. And in this party, the Howie mm. Mandel part, it wasn't like him as a booked act. He just everybody's smoking on the sidewalk, and he just came out and yeah. started doing a routine. This party's the best party I've ever seen in so a movie. I, I, I do think I, the I belly dancing lasted a little bit too long, and then it looks like it's daytime again. But for they no treat reason. it like it's bobbing for apples, like <laughs> yeah. But because it, it cuts <laughs> this back. This is what people do in Halloween. It cuts back to Amanda. I wish they did. Being a sad sack per usual. Yeah, she's hanging and, but a it, memorial wreath. But it looks wreath. like it's daylight outside, which is not. And she's, no, she has a jack-o'-lantern. And I was like, what was this scene for? Nothing. Because we're back to a, some guy being like, are you a geisha? Just because oh, yeah. she's like A Asian. cowboy hits on an Asian lady. Yeah. Um, and then little Bo Peep hits on Roger. I called her Borg. Carrie, I think is her name. when, no, I, she didn't have a name. The, the, that girl, the girl that gets killed next. I called her bored because when she, most, they asked, most women don't have names. When he asks her what her real name is, she says bored. <laughs> That's a good answer. So um, I just called her bored, and in the kill count, she's not listed as like a any name. But um, so Beth and and uh, Vera, I almost called her Valerie. Beth and Vera show up to the party to tattle to tell on Tom, <laughs> like wait, the tell on Grandpa. Yeah, but bored, quote unquote, the lady named Bored. She's in the ladies' room. Yeah, and she starts talking to a hooded figure like she knows her. She goes, hi, you devil. In the bathroom. <laughs> she's met Satan before. I don't, I think she's. Uh, it cuts back to Roger and he's like, I'm on the case. And then it's back to Board, who's going to take. Uh, <laughs> she the, needs help putting her. She's going to take. Corset on? Yeah. So she wants them, she wants her, to them slippery. to undo the corset. Oh, And okay. instead, uh, the cloaked figure tightens the corset and then stabs her stabs in the back. Stabs her right in the back. Yeah. And then we see the cops raiding the barn, but all of the worshippers It says, I said, at gone. the barn, deserted. You rookie, Roger. Because they call it like, it's like, Roger was on the case, but he, when he told him together, to tell you the truth, I think, honestly, I think Roger's such a deadly do-right dumbass, he probably led him to the wrong barn. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then, and then I wrote, and then it comes back to the party. I was like, why are Beth, Vera and Beth still at the party? And then one of them says, maybe I should fix my face. And I was like, yeah, that seems like a real good thing to care about Vera. Oh, it's Vera. Yeah. I was if, like, if, if every actress in this movie wasn't so hot, I would have a fucking real joke about uh, fix your face. But I was like, face, oh, but, like, no, so. But and we you, see you, most you of them You just naked, almost got like, killed by your grandpa, but like, you need to go fix your face. But it does take you to the bathroom where you see bored and they don't yeah, realize they don't, that she's dead. They well, they even go over wrong. and touch her and then they just don't even care. They and they don't even know that she's dead. It's like, ah, she'll wake up. And then at that and, point. And they hang out in there with her. Vera, uh, Beth is. Uh, the cloak guy is in the closet, and yeah, and Vera Beth leaves. Is Aren't we all? Yeah, and B- Beth kind of backs into the closet and is garroted. Yeah, and so. Valerie or <laughs> oh, and, and then Meat, I wrote, Meat wait, Loaf what is her. Vera's costume anyway? <laughs> Meat Loaf again. <laughs> yeah, he did good work in this movie. I said um, I don't think this party is very safe. That's it seems well, a that's, wild. that's a great you think party. with a fucking cop at a party. Everything's well, gonna he, be he all had right. left though. He Dude. had left though to take them to the oh. barn. So that guy's a back to the cloak. Vera, Vera finds. We're back to the cloak guy. Vera thinks it's Tommy. Yeah, but she finds Beth and figures out that Board is uh, dead. Yeah, but yeah. that's what it took it, to figure out that there was a dead body in the room. Was your friend getting murdered minutes later? Yeah. Like, yeah, and so Vera thinks we see Grandpa minutes before, showing like, up. But Vera thinks it's Tommy, yeah. and it's actually Grandpa, and he's like, "Nothing can save you." And then another a sword person fight. in the same mask. <laughs> they have a shows sword up, fight, and the two masked hooded men. They have a sword fight upstairs, and uh, I got confused during this one part. Of, one yeah. of the masked people gets killed. And Roger he shows says, up. It, he, Roger shows up and Grandpa as he dies. Yeah, unmasked. The power, Grandpa's dying. Power is in the blood, Roger. And he touches his head and gives him a forehead like laser. A little red dot. He puts a red light on the forehead. Yeah. The so power is Roger the blood. shoots the other cloak. Yeah. The killer. The Grandpa, Grandpa, killed Grandpa really, really, genuinely loves Satan. Yeah. This yeah. guy is ride or die with yeah, Satan. Like, yeah. And fuck, I thought he had a turn of life, but I guess fuck, not. Fuck well, I mean, I think he does. Maybe he just put it into Roger. But well, we'll see. But so he shoots. And, and now Roger Tommy, Tommy gets Catholic real fast. Is in a mass that just but stabbed they get, Grandpa. They get away. They run off. I think back. I to said, the graveyard. and then I wrote, "I'm Did confused." Did she just go back to the graveyard? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And they take. At first, I thought it was Tommy, but I was like, "Who is it?" 
takes the mask off. And I was like, I'm on the edge of my seat. Also, why are you in the woods? But anyway, gasp, it's Amanda. Well, back to the graveyard. She falls on Bill's grave. Yep. And after a few moments, Tommy finds her and and starts consoling the dying mother. Yeah, she's uh, still obsessed with her kids, but at least she and Tommy is made up. But then whenever she dies, he does like, what is it, the Stations of the Cross, the little Catholic thing. And it's like, oh, you were just Satanist I'm not Satanic anymore. And (laughs) you were immediately Catholic. Immediately chose a denomination. Also, she she died conveniently on her husband's grave, so cool. And then we go back to the barn. That's one a good last wife, time, man. We There's see still that. Satan stuff going on, yeah, but the, guess who it is? The group's back together, pulls up the hood. It's Roger. Uh-huh. They do the old switcheroo. He welcomes the night. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he just made U.S. Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That was really. Wait. So That's that was it. the same night? Roger's just, I'm yeah. not a cop anymore. I'm a Satanist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's probably still a cop, man. I can see that working. Sure. <laughs> yeah. see, see that going on. I mean, hand no one cared that Grandpa was a fucking Satanist the whole time. So. Kill hey, man, freedom of religion in yeah. Southern California. Well, um, Grandpa was actually town. mildly harmless comparatively to the everybody else, and they let him get away with it. They yeah, the mom killed him. everybody except her husband. Yeah, so, she she did way more damage than Grandpa well, did. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe. physical damage, not psychological. Casey, if it's Casey psychological, it. Grandpa so, destroyed everybody he knew. Kill count one, Bill Drendel, bludgeoned by a cult member with a hammer and blown up in a car explosion. Two is Nora Bennington stabbed in the face by, or, you know, face and neck by the cult devil with a cultivator. (laughs) Rich bitch. Three is Brian. He's stabbed in the head by the cult devil with a shovel. That's the best death, I think. Yeah. Four is a party girl, a.k.a. quote unquote bored, stabbed in the back by the cult devil with a knife. Um, Five is Beth. She looked like she was ready to go. Is garroted with a rope. Six is Grandpa is stabbed in the stomach by a cult devil with a cultivator. And, wait, hold on. Yeah, so seven is Amanda Drindle slash the cult devil. She's shot in the shoulder and then the chest by Roger. Um, There's not a lot of trivia on this. Oh, whoa, whoa. There was one more death. Talk about there was the, one more death, too, that I don't, I didn't see. You the didn't goat write that got decapitated no, no, by the no, satanic no, cult. No, the death of Roger's innocence. Um, oh, man. But so she was killing people that she thought was badly influencing her children. Why'd she kill little Bo Peep Board? I don't know. Because she was flirting with Roger, kinda. I mean, she. But seriously, Nora. It was seems like Brian, she was just well. She and, she uh, was trying to stop all the. She didn't want her Nora, kids Brian, involved in the Beth. Satan stuff, but it didn't make sense for her half. It only took her fucking Brian thirteen years to get around to doing something about yeah. it. That was the lovers of her children. Nora, Brian, and Beth were. That's she killed them. Yes. So, just so she can have her kids be at home more? I guess. She seemed like she did not want them to move out. And they weren't really doing it. No. So, I don't really understand what the anger was for. So, uh, Tom, Tommy wasn't going anywhere, in life, one, much this, less that fucking basement. This one's like, pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So, the, this movie was featured on the People's Court. Uh, uh, yeah. Because mass, Massacre Video sued an uploader from YouTube. Oh. <laughs> for, for this movie. Uh, Grandpa, played by High Pike, was in Blade Runner, Dolomite, Vamp. There's other yeah, stuff, yeah. but those are like the biggies. Gregory Scott Cummins, who plays Tommy, was That's in boy. Cliffhanger, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Bought, Bought that show Bosch. How oh, do you say yeah, it? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, uh, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Yeah. Carla B. Vera was in The Jigsaw Murder and Terror Night. And I, the, she's, the, in, she's also in. Uh, the director, Sorority Babes at the Slime Ball, 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 Ball. Yeah, I love um, that movie. The director was a big exploitation director later on, and he did Jigsaw Murder, I think. Gina Fine is her porn. Oh, Fine. Oh, okay. oh I, I, I don't know. I, G- I don't Gina know. Fine? Is this a tip? I don't thing? know how I wrote yes, that wrong. Doing tip stuff stuff again? She, I, I, wrote, I just wrote it wrong. I, I don't know. I just couldn't read my writing. She was in Boondock Saints. Yeah. And Orgasmo. And Orgasmo. Orgasmo rules. The oh. um, composer of the music for this movie also did the theme song for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, we were and, talking uh, about yeah. that. That's the show. And Mom, was, Amanda, was in Cannibal Hookers. And she produ- helped produce Cannibal Hookers. Um, it was released in theaters and then Vestron. I didn't see a budget for it. The director was, like I said, a huge exploitation director. And then he also directed the... We have, And we haven't done this one. And I don't actually... This is one I need to get. Uh, he directed 1987's Open House, which is a, a like a real estate slasher. I, yeah. I can dig that. Um, real so, estate slashers. Oh, yeah. What are we doing it's a month on that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this month on real estate we, slashers. Well, we've already, see, we can't because we've already done Boarding House. So. Oh. 
can't do a, a, a that's two movies I can think of or a house but I mean that's not a slasher are we gonna do like home renovation massacre or something <laughs> yeah. Potter, pottery barn like, massacre yeah yeah pottery barn <laughs> <laughs> Pottery Barn Massacre, I like Ikea that. Massacre. Oh, Ikea, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is for William, William Sonoma, well, you know what? Sonoma that would actually, Slaughter. That would actually work if we did like Hide and Go Shree, because I said the furniture yeah. store, but we've already done it. So, um, anyway, stay gagged on um, a cultivator. Stay gagged on big pumpkins. Uh, stay. Wait, we, did we rate it? Oh, oh we're we no, no, did we're, it again. Oh yeah. Rating. Before that. How many stars do you get? So I wrote Nick. it down four, but I have to give it five because after talking to you guys about it, I realized that I loved it even five more, stars. and I watched it last night and today again. And you, okay, listen, I do not. I'm you're easier on the ratings than I am. It, you've got to be basically a perfect movie. I won't even give Sleepaway Camp, which is in my top five favorite horror movies, a five. I'll give it like a four point five. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, like Texas right. Chainsaw Massacre is a five. Yeah, of but course. so this movie I give between a three point seven five and a four. Uh, a three point eight seven two. Yeah, five. but it's it's, CPO it's, five, it's, nine, all, three, it's, it's like I would say probably more of a three point five, but that's just because I'm harder on it, and and this is just in the slasher realm, but it's almost a four. It's good. I highly recommend. It. Pretty soon, um, you're going three point five. Pretty soon. Emily's going to stop uh, yeah. giving a number rating altogether, and uh, we will mail you barcodes. And if you scan it, it will show you what Emily rates the movies. <laughs> Is that pie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have rating to, speaking of, I have to give. A, I have to mail out a bunch of gag stuff to our Patreon people. Anyway, so stay gagged on a pentagram necklace. Oh, uh, stay gagged on uh, Grandpa's pumpkins. Stay gagged on. Laser eyeballs. Stay gagged on Tommy's lips. Stay gagged on Tommy's eyes. Stay gagged on any of the fucking women in this goddamn movie because they want to gag you. Yeah. They want to put something on your face. Stay gagged on all of our social media Instagram, TikTok, Gag Me With a Knife Podcast, Twitter, Gag Knife Pod, become a Patreon. Katie. Katie. We're coming for you, girl. We're coming for you, Katie. Uh, become a Patreon member. And Nick and will tell you stories. I will. No, he won't. www.patreon.com slash gag me with a knife podcast. You will get member shout outs, early access to episodes. I did it this time. You did it. Um, bonus episodes that you won't find anywhere else. They'll only be on the Patreon uh, website. And we will do fan requested videos on the last Friday of every month. So we have one for uh, this month's friday and next month's friday so also yeah. i will i will uh venmo you 20 bucks on my sidebar of this podcast no, to if you guess whether the story about katie mosley is true or not Good. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck it's up. a mixed bag <laughs> so uh let's get let's get spooky get ready for next week's hell night Ooh. it's not as good as this um but Let you know blade. not much yeah. is as good as this this was no, such this a curveball movie surprise. is so fucking good it's, yeah. everybody go watch this fucking i like it more movie. than halloween i do it's yeah. fucking hey, great so much, now we're yeah. gonna have to do a patreon if you guys want to know on why we like it more than halloween <laughs> emily doesn't like the first halloween i love it but this I movie don't. is fucking i'm i think i'm on i'm on board with you guys this movie movie is fucking amazing yeah watch it it's a fucking it is a fucking bizarre thrill ride fuck, 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 insanity. Fuck, 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 share the blood yeah you and you the want powers it. in the blood i was about Remember to say that. and I was, I was about to say you'll Tommy. want you should get patreon because you're gonna want to hear this episode early but that like that doesn't make any the sense the power so, of but. satan is upon us yeah, the, just remember it's the power, the hour of Satan. Satan. The hour of Satan, the power is in the blood, okay? Yeah. So uh, get ready Share for next week, and we'll Share see you next time blood. during the uh, month of October where we're going to do Hell Night, Share and then, then after that we're going to do like a Halloween uh, uh Rich well, I, after, well, after all, you guys share the blood. Go to the doctor and get rid share of it. Share the blood. <laughs> get rid of that gonorrhea. See yeah. you guys. Furious herpes. Powers in the blood. <laughs> you can't get rid of that. Uh, not yet. <laughs> share the blood.
Right.